hello and welcome to my channel in this video we'll talk about line style formatting and that is basically customizing our line plots by specifying the colors of the lines and the markers of the lines so the example shown here you can see that this first one is gotten using this command the green specifies the color this dash here ensures that there is a continuous line plot and then this symbol here is the marker of the plot you can see in this one the, the arrow specifies the color which is red and then the X specifies the marker and because we didn't give this dash it just plots the markers so this is similar to a scatter plot of the points now in the third one we see that we specify the color which is blue and we give the dash which shows that it's a continuous line plot but then we didn't give any marker and because no marker is given it's just a, a normal line plot the only thing that was specified is the color which is the b which is this b and that's what it does so let's go to the ide and try to demonstrate this more clearly okay so now we are in the ide and you can see i've imported um matplotlib as plt i've imported numpy and i've imported uh, some other functions from and constants from numpy so i've imported the pi the length space the sine and the cosine so i'll create some a simple plot continuing from the previous video okay so now we have this uh, a4 which is our data set we are plotting the the sign of it and we are plotting the cosine of it and labeling them and then we have the legend and then we show the plot okay so now if i run this one this is what we get we have this is the default plot from this code we see that the color of the sign is blue and the color of the course is green i can change this by by coming here and passing a string for the color so if i want it to be red i will give arrow and if i run the code again We see that the sign is now red so now i can do the same thing for the cosine by coming here and passing a string for the color we'll make it blue and then we run it and we see that the cosine is now blue and the sign is red so we have specified the color the colors of the two lines so what i could do feather is specify the markers the line markers and this is where it gets a little bit interesting let me stay with the cause if i pass this o here the the o is the o is the marker of the cause plot so if i run it alone like this i'll just get I'll not get a line plot anymore but I'll just get blue markers that are plotted at all the points for the co cosine let me run it and you see what I mean so we s we see that specifying the color and the marker alone gives you something which is close to a scatter plot which is almost like a scatter plot so we have the color and just the markers plotted and then there's no line connecting them to make sure that there's a line connecting them i have to go on to add this dash 
I have to add this dash and then if I run it now I'll have the line plots as well as the markers and then the color blue so you see that this is now the graph we have for doing this so this is basically how it's done how you can specify the color of your line and specify if you want the line to be plotted as well and specify the markers so there are several markers that you can use for example in this one I could give it some markers as well I could give it the plus marker and if I run it you see that I have um, it there these are the pl plus markers I could also change it to star and then I have star markers I could also take this out like in the previous one and if I run it I just have the star markers that are being plotted so there are several markers in matplotlib so I'll show you the all the markers you can get uh, from matplotlib and the colors you can also get from matplotlib to format your line plots so these are the um, characters the string characters that are accepted to control the line style or the marker the, the marker of your line plot so you can see the example I did I did it with this circle marker and also I showed this plus marker and I showed the star marker but these are all the uh, markers you can get you can use you can try that out yourself using these markers to do your plots now these are the colors you can also use in matplotlib you can do the blue with b green red kind or chine <laughs> magenta yellow black and white so you can use this you can use this color this color abbreviations to specify the colors of your plots in matplotlib now you should take note that i plotted the two lines using two um, separate plot commands but we could that is because of this label this label command because i specified the label commands i cannot use this uh, multiple syntax here what i mean is if i cannot do this um, and I put this in here as well so if I run this it won't work because of the label command then the, it confuses the syntax of multiple um, pairs of data but if I remove that and if I remove this as well and then I comment this out and then I run it it will work so in this way you can specify it without the labels you can plot the two graphs but of course for any graph you plot you want to label it so that w anyone who takes it who takes your code or sees your plot will understand what the graph is all about so you would want to go with this syntax rather than this one so i'll comment this now and then i run that okay so that's our line plot so like i was saying this one without the line plot where we have just the where we have just the marker Where we have just the marker is more like a, a scatter plot. I will show you how you can plot this again, something like this using scatter by calling plt dot scatter, and then you call the data which is the a four, and then the which is the x, 
maybe I do it like this um, x y equals to a4 n sine a4 and then I can put x y here x y here and then I comment this out and if I run that you see that I have a scatter plot which is similar to which is similar to this so in this case so we have this x and y are equal to a4 and cos a4 so if I plot the scatter of that I'll get a scatter plot which is similar to this one here without the line line plot if I show the two you will see what I mean uh, this one is sine and the, uh, the scatter is a cos if I run the two together you'll see so basically you can do scatter plotting as well directly or with the line plot you can also get with the normal plot command you can also get something which is almost like a scatter plot so this is where I would like to end this tutorial. I believe that at this point you can format your line plots by specifying the colors that you want, the markers, and also if you want the line to be plotted as well. Here as I already mentioned you will find all the um, line style markers that you can use in matplotlib as well as the colors that you can use in matplotlib. So thanks for watching and if you like my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching